Modeling Growth of Individual Semibalanus Karyosis, a detailed report on adult barnacle growth and implications for temperate zone reef building. At this point, we have embedded our individual specimens in epoxy, sliced them, and have taken photographs of each cross section. With a typical section, we show the steps involved in transitioning from the photos to a simplified model of an individual karyosis. Now we are ready to model the way in which a karyosis grows. The animal adds shell, calcite, primarily to the base, to the margin of the aperture, and to the edges of the opercular plate. The animal wants to get larger, not just taller. The aperture increases to accommodate growing opercular plates. This would create spaces between the wall plates were it not for extension of the wing and the operculum as a unit moves a bit lower relative to the top, but a bit higher relative to the base. Once more, more quickly. Our barnacle is taller and wider. The aperture is proportionately wider. The aperture is higher too, but only slightly. Next time we'll see how the growth characteristics of individual karyosis impact the formation of clusters.